1921, Monitor Tower 12818. Tower 3168, Boston Ground, push back at discussion. Seven Ground, Delta 1920, come around the corner on November for the ramp. 1920, Boston Ground, taxi to the ramp by Alpha Echo. Ramp Alpha Echo, Delta 1920. Air 33, come right here, 140, Roman on it, please, take off. Right, 140. Thank you, 3168, contact Boston, center 133.42, good day. 3342, Rick 3168, good day. Perfect, 183, when reaching 13,000, reduce to 280 knots. United 532, do you have the Boston airport inside, 1 o'clock, 1, 2 miles? Uh, Airfirement says United 532. United 532, cross 10, DME at 3,000, clear visual approach, runway 4 right. Come on, 449, Sandy Tower, you're 5 miles of trail of an RJ, wind 100 at 15, runway 18 left. Clear to land. Sandy Tower, 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 Sand
Oh, <laughs> let's go over here. <laughs> this is the starting area. Starting area is where we run and start all our motors. If you notice, we have six tables out here and plenty of room on the ground to place your planes for starting. If you notice, the nose of the plane is facing towards the spectators. The reason for that is, is when we start our motors, we don't want any debris or anything that gets caught in the prop to blow towards our spectators. We always want it blowing out that way. And when starting your motors or engines, please always read or use the proper starting methods as outlined in your instruction books. And also, before each flight, make sure you do a pre-flight check. Check all your control services. Make sure everything is working before you head to the runway. Let's take a walk out here. These are the pilot's positions. As you can see, we have three pilot's positions. The pilot's positions serve two purposes. One, it's far enough away from the flight line. And number two, we use these so that while you're out here flying, if somebody comes up behind you and wants to take off and fly, you know exactly where that person is going to be standing. Now the flight line, the flight line is the edge of the runway. And if you can just take an imaginary line and extend it both directions of the runway, that is your flight line. All of our flying takes place in front of the flight line. At no time do we fly behind the flight line. As you can see, we have a, a building over here, and at no time do we fly over that building. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our walk. It's time to fly. Come on. Hi, I'm Darrell Merrick with the Sumner County RC Flyers. I was uh, flying my Great Plains Ultimate 160 size. It's got a DA 50cc gas engine in it. It uh, it is an R. It uh, is the second one I've had now. The uh, first one met a untimely demise. This is the second generation. Really enjoying the plane. Uh, I'd like to welcome anybody to come out to our field in uh, Sumner County out at uh, Bledsoe Court and Cache and Springs. Come fly with us.
I'm Glenn Batson. I uh, normally fly out of the uh, Peeler Park uh, Music City Aviators Field in Madison, Tennessee. Um, I'm flying today uh, a model that Scratch built was designed after a model called a Pro Trainer, uh, originally designed by Mike Taylor out of Gallatin, Tennessee. Uh, this particular model right here was a Scratch custom built by Dana Swa. Uh, out of White's Creek, Tennessee, and it's very lightweight and maneuverable. It's a very simple plane because it's only three channels. There's no ailerons on it like most planes, so that helps keep it light. And by putting all of this dihedral or, or slant in this wing, uh, makes it very maneuverable. So you have a lot of fun with it. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, very lightweight. Uh, another plane that I just got through flying here is a little uh, triplane. It's called a Falker. Uh, it's what the Red Baron flew, basically. This is, of course, a little tiny one. It's electric, very lightweight. Um, uh, kind of a handful to fly, but it's still really fun. I enjoy it. Uh, it's fairly new to me, and so I'm still getting it uh, trimmed out, but I uh, hope to continue to have a lot of fun with them here today.
Mike Rickens. This is my P47 Thunderbolt. Uh, we're going to take this thing up in just a minute and do some uh, formation flying. Uh, there's a B25 bomber, and we're going to come over across the field and do some scraping running. So I'm going to fall in behind him and kind of protect his tail a little bit. Uh, so this is a this is a fun flying airplane. My name is Randy Moore. I'm from Madison, Tennessee. I'm here in Hendersonville flying with uh, Hendersonville Club. Uh, took, I brought my Hangar 9 J3 Cub. Uh, I put a, a gas-powered Zenoa G20 electronic ignition on the front. Uh, all the electronics is high-tech servos, JR receiver. Uh, got a flight earlier. It's nice flying. It's a little slow for me. I'm, I'm typically into the jet stuff, so it's a little slow, but it's nice and relaxing to come out here and fly. Just uh, regular plane, so that's kind of what we're doing today. Here, here, here.
Randy Moore again. Uh, I'm here with my B25 this time. Uh, it's a Hangar 9 kit as well. It has two Evolution 36 Nitro engines in it. Uh, standard mufflers. Uh, no retracts as of yet. We're going to get those soon enough. And then once we put the retracts in, we'll put some brakes on there too. Make it a little more scale like. It's got the twin flaps on each side. All the gear, all the uh, radio gear is uh, mostly high tech servo, the JR receiver. It's uh, incredible. Really nice flying plane.